what's going on guys well we're here in my attic it's a two-story house and having some kind of strange problems with the air conditioner it took me a minute to figure it out because i've never owned a house like this with a system like this but the air conditioning is zone controlled and what's happening is, is at nighttime i noticed that my bedroom was getting hot but the upstairs was cold and then sometimes the upstairs was hot and the downstairs was cold reason why is this system is controlled by this unit here and it's wired into a bunch of damper motors that are on the uh, the ducting okay and that's one of the motors there and uh, these are the returns on this side and this is where the air comes out um, basically this thing has been robbing me of some cash because it likes to run all the time because my house is trying to cool when it's not getting the airflow it needs because these damper motors here are getting stuck okay and these damper motors here are the original ones from 2012 and after looking up the part numbers um, there are two generations newer ones out there and I actually have one of them that we're gonna replace them but basically what's happening is is that controller over there controls these motors that open and close valves that divert air either downstairs or upstairs depending on how you want the temperature done okay and basically I know I have a bad one here and a bad one back there the one back there goes in my bedroom and at night it's really hot in my bedroom but the rest of the house is cold and uh, basically what happened is, is that valve there it's getting stuck so I'm not getting any airflow in my bedroom and I have a clip of that real quick of how they get stuck and what they look like all right so we're gonna see if we can unstick that damper because it is sticking Basically, all I did was I sat here and I just banged on it and it started to move. So, I'm gonna have to replace this guy. I only have two motors, only about two of them. They're about $90 to $120 a piece, it depends on where you get them. But I'm gonna end up doing all of them um, just for this video here. It's just this one here for the upstairs and that one back there. All you're gonna need is, you know, the damper itself and Allen wrenches and some strippers, depending on how they wired it up. And uh, I'll go show you the return real quick. Uh, the return uh, bypass this is what's going to suck up all your money is that again when the dampers are stuck closed the air can't go anywhere but out into my attic or it goes through this bypass here and this is actually a valve here that opens and closes depending on air pressure it goes back in the returns and then it flows back through here gets cooled and it just does this cycle like this and my house is not cooling which will just drive your electricity bill up the wall so Hope this video helps you out a little bit. We'll just go ahead and change one of those dampers real fast. It's really, really simple. Okay, so if we look at the damper motor itself, right here, you're gonna find a screw, and this is directly what holds the motor on there. But this thing actually moves back and forth according to the way the door is opening and closing. When this thing doesn't have power, uh, the spring in here will return the door to the open position, okay? So no power, open. When this thing commands power, it actually turns the motor and closes it, so. Um, the motor itself takes a dump and the spring inside takes a dump But to go ahead and take this guy off all we're gonna do is use an allen wrench and uh, Unscrew this and then the whole thing will come right off. Okay, your new one It's basically the same thing here. It is here. The new one actually comes with two different Ways to actually screw it down. Okay uh, For the same style as that one has there. They give you a really really short end, okay? which makes it kind of hard to install, or you can use, um, it's kind of different, but the longer one here. It's two different Allen keys also. This uses a small one, this uses a big one. As far as the sizes go, I'm sorry. We're looking at one and one eighth and three sixteenths. So let's see if this three sixteenths one fits right on here. And all we're gonna do is stick it on there and loosen it up. Now the unit is running, so my door should be open. As soon as I did that, as soon as I loosened this thing up, I could hear the door slam shut and the air start pouring out of here so when i go to put my new one back on i need to make sure that the door is wide open okay the uh, air pressure in itself will actually close this door and it has um, i might be able to actually reuse this but let's pull it right off okay and it has this pin that lines it up exactly where it needs to go right here with this hole but this is directly connected to that shaft it's, you can hear it in there directing the airflow you can hear it moving everything but we're gonna make sure it needs to be open 
when we hook up the new one. All right. So no noise is going to be open, and then lots of noise is basically closed. Right. I can actually take you down and show you. I got that guy open and let me see if I can actually reuse this. This would be pretty nice if I can reuse it. All right, I can, cool. So on the new unit itself, it's actually nice because it actually shows you open, so it is gonna be installed in the open position, but we're just gonna set it down on there and tighten it up. The wiring connections on the new one is a little different. It has these push buttons here, you have here, and then you insert the wire into there and there's a diagram that tells you exactly what everything is m1 is common and then m6 is the hot side okay so you're looking at with mine we're looking at um, a white wire and a red wire all right so you're going to want to make sure you have the valve open that means airflow going through go ahead and just line up the pin or the pins and take the damper on slide it down tighten up the screw but you want to make sure that the damper is all the way open Okay, so we're gonna look real quick. All right, was the damper open? Hopefully it was. And we're gonna tighten the screw up. Now the screw is in a different spot, so you just wanna make sure that it can move a little bit freely because it is gonna move back and forth. All right, we're gonna disconnect this wiring and we're gonna hook the wiring up. So um, M1 is getting my white wire here and M6 is getting my red wire here, okay? Nice thing about these motors, it tells you when they're open and they're closed. Unlike these guys, they don't tell you jack squat. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move some of this installation around here so the screw does not get caught on it. And everything's gonna be okay. All right, and that's it. I wanna test this guy out and I went ahead and turned the upstairs off and you can see that it is actually closing. There is a red light. So this guy is getting power to close and it will close the vent off. Pretty cool, good way to test it. So I'm gonna turn the air conditioner back down. All right, so the system opened right up. It opened up really quick. I couldn't even get it on camera to open up so fast. There we go, we got flow back into my upstairs. Excellent. 